Hello, I'm Nicolas Tremblay, ISPA board member and research scientist for agriculture and agri-food Canada. Uh, I'd like to uh, tell you a little bit more about the International Society of Precision Agriculture, which is the uh, scientific organization that comes in a straight line from the founders of the precision farming idea in Minnesota in the early 90s. Uh, at the ISPA, we have several ways of action. Uh, we're first of all, a global science society with about 150 members. Uh, we also entertain conferences every two years uh, with the exception of uh, 2021, 20, uh, of course. And the next one is in Minneapolis uh, next year. We also have communities of interest. Uh, one of them is the uh, on-farm experimentation community which I'm co-leading. And uh, we also have uh, a role in defining issues and providing guidelines to precision agriculture questions, such as uh, what basically is precision agriculture? What's the definition? What's the scope? And we have come up with a definition uh, just recently, a couple of years ago, that was um, uh, reading like this, precision agriculture is a management strategy that gathers, processes, and analyzes temporal, spatial, and individual data and combines it with other information to support management decisions according to estimated var variability for improved resources, use efficiency, productivity, quality, profitability, and sustainability of agricultural production. That's quite a long uh, definition, but the important point is about the temporal, spatial, and, and individual that aspect of it, uh, which ties up to the RDA, obviously, and the IGAD. So what we do as well is to uh, team up with other uh, groups uh, to uh, develop um, conferences or initiatives such as this one, which is OECD supported. And it involves INRAE in France and a group of other um, supporters. But uh, this conference, uh, will be uh, entitled Farmer-Centric on Farm Experimentation, Digital Tools for a Scalable Transformative Pathway in Montpellier this fall later, but it will be preceded by four thematic webinars. And uh, uh, they are focused on, uh, as the title indicates, digital tools, uh, which includes, of course, data, uh, use and, and uh, valuation. So we have uh, this slide about the potential interaction about, uh, between the ISPA and the IGAD, Community of Practice. So clearly the ISPA and RDA IGAD have mutual interest to team up in the field of precision agriculture because both promote good practices in research with regard to data sharing policies, data management plans and interoperability. And uh, I can tell you that these are clear issues that need to be sorted in, in precision agriculture. Uh, we, we would uh, go a long way if we sort these things out to better uh, have, uh, to have better uh, precision agriculture uh, models and, and uh, applications in the future. A priority for us is uh, what we call the Babel Tower of uh, agronomic data. Uh, we'll have our May 17 webinar uh, addressing it around the issue of ICASA 3, for example, AgMIPS, uh, the Agronomy Ontology Project, and the dictionary for that purpose. And uh, for us, that would be uh, something uh, very much needed to help precision agriculture activities and, uh, and application worldwide. Uh, we have also the potentially uh, the possibility of endorsing at the ISP level and promoting uh, those guidelines when they are uh, established and agreed upon. And that's uh, something uh, we think that IGET can help us with. So I want to thank you. I'll leave you up with a couple of uh, links and uh, an address to uh, reach, uh, reach out to me. So you're welcome to do so anytime. Uh, have a good meeting. Thank you.